hello guys in previous in previous uh, class i avoid uh, a draw a uh, structure of the in autocad i was a draw a plan in uh, for this plan i want to give the uh, elevation of this structure so in previous class uh, i will draw a these lines also and uh, next uh, uh, next we should draw a uh, here I need a here midpoint I want to need so uh, first of all we erase this one these lines and go to trim select select all object and uh, we should here trim it and trim it and escape it it will be coming the midpoint here and take a line here you will get the midpoint here and toward the any distance toward the downward direction at 90 degrees click on it and escape it it will be coming and you should select this line and next step, we should go to the op take a offset here uh, at the distance of 8 feet uh, 8 inches and enter it select the object toward the right side sorry toward the left side and escape it next again you take a line segment and you select this end point to up to this end point zoom in to touch the this line and to erase these lines those lines you should erase it and simply delete these lines also no need delete okay we get the this line now you shall uh, now take a, again offset take a offset at the distance is two feet enter it we select this object and towards upward direction paste it and escape it and again go to out outset at the distance is uh, two feet enter it and select the object towards downward direction and escape it will be coming so I need this line I want to extend it more line I want to extend it so uh, here go to extended box and uh, select the object here and up to where I want to here so I want to so I want to extend up to here and it not giving and click it up to here I need extender so escape it zoom out and uh, I want to take a line here this line to upward direction at 90 degrees click on it and escape it here I was so next I want to extend up to these lines and click on extend it uh, up to this object Enter it. Oh, here extend it. Click on extend it. Here extend. Click on extend it and. Uh, 
extend here this option here we should extend here this line we should extend it up to this line so go to the extender click on extender and in the select it and you select the points duplicate it will be coming towards uh, downward and next escape it next we should uh, next we should trim it the these lines we should not repair it this lines first no. okay next this one uh, i want no need this direction so i want to trim it and uh, tr is a shortcut of the trim take a tr in that and it okay let's keep it and click in this line and easily delete it it will be deleted so Okay, I want to tr enter no need this and no need this um, this other works yes I was completely deleted and zoom in next I want to take it select this object and take a mirror option here click on mirror option and this to up to here we should add it no click on the option and next we should here up to extend it so here we should click okay my here I want to fill it here click on fill it and click on the radius is my zero zero radius and enter it you should select this and this like this we should do click on here radius and 0 degrees enter it so like this object so like this elevation was completed next I want to add here one pillar and here one pillar here one pillar here one pillar here one pillar I want to make so in I want to pillar add it so here two I I taken was two bits so I want to take only one bit um, here with any length you should take and not a problem here and um, let it be two I mean two bits next uh, we should to move up here I need one pillar I want to add it one pillar here so so here we should take a, a line and click on line option zoom it somewhat downward did not have to enter this my specific point this escape it line enter it Here I should add another. Take a specific point, it will be more. Towards the right side or left side, it will be more. 
it will be moving so zoom it and take this bit by here and escape it and I want to change the length up to here we delete it, simply delete again take a rectangle take a line here shoot me point to specific point uh, here. here you take the midpoint and this midpoint should refer range here want to paste it and escape it okay line was came and, and go to offset and uh, select at the distance is one inch one feet in the rate. it will be coming like this and escape it okay we did not attach to all the downloads so here extend it and should here enter here enter and so I was had an escape it and short for trim click on trim option select all of them and here we should trim it ok escape it the pillar was added here one and next we should take a rectangle and uh, I want to take a rectangle mm -hmm. here escape it uh, my radius is uh, rectangle radius first here we know it that take a rectangle radius and simply uh, here select it to upward direction I want again, I and up it and escape it and we select to move object here here we should can move towards the downward direction one should see the specific point and paste it here and escape it and uh, here we can see we should uh, click on option move option here and select the object enter it Let's click on this. Edit to attach the edges. And next. Okay. Control the it will be moved beyond the image it will be coming again and uh, we have placed our 
Did not move, so select to move option here. Uh, to this point, okay. We'll take for reference here this line to click on it. Let's get to click it. Move option. Zoom it to take to all the somewhat left direction and click it. Okay, it's not coming. So, next we should copy it and uh, select to the upward direction. Here I want to paste one. I want to paste here one. Yeah, keep, just keep it. Next, you want to change this pillar towards move. Click it. Just keep it. Next, up, we should trim this line. Those line. These lines. We should trim it. And TR enter it, click on TR enter, select all of it. We should trim it this. This lines we should. Like this, we should trim it. And escape it. Okay. Next, we select these objects. And then you are in the select it. I want to select it. I should select it. Just click on it and do it and click on here. We select it and click on copy here. Just click on it. To move all the I want to do it and then I want to paste here one. Next I want to paste here. I want to paste this line. Take a reference line for this. And copy this line. Then paste it one. Here one completed again. So here one we should paste here one. Again this line. We should select it or select this line. Paste it here and escape it the pillars was added here so i want to trim these lines we should trim it here this line i, I want to trim it so now we can select it and delete the option here and this line also okay i did not take up from my here window is there so i want to paste here window so i want to take a line from window line uh, up to here so again here click on line option and here should take a line towards upward direction so mode it Click on it, escape and delete it. Again, take a line here like this. We should do, and here, here, we should take this line and TR in the select all object and here is take it. Trim it. Trim it. Trim 
like this we should train it and let's get okay like this we should build it next we should add it here colors and uh, this pillar i want to add this colors also so here go to layers and here added the layer with the what your wish uh, this is the name of the uh, what type of you this is a normal name and i want to check the hair color i want click on drawn and okay and close it here and click on it here for the solids and paste it like this we should fill the color of the elevation okay and uh, this is the pillar i want to i want to add a white color and click it and go to the arches we are solid click it click it like this we should draw click it Let's keep it. The pillars was uh, I was pasted colors also. And next, uh, the cheeks. This is my elevation of the front view. Front view elevation. I want to paste here door. Sorry, I did not paste here door. So I want to paste here door. And uh, take a rectangle. And go towards the downward. So here yeah, up to here. Let's go. This middle and uh, so click on it and take offset of the uh, three foot and enter it go under and next uh, next you should take a midpoint of this value and click on line option towards the downward direction here we get to the midpoint and here click it or take your offset here and the distance is one fix in the right take off the rear
number here we get it the dots and here we are going to add some do some designs so take a rectangle here and like this again take a rectangle select the object and here we should copy it paste it one here one here one escape it this is my region of the door and uh, you should add the colors and here go to the roots and here you should go to the arches and solid click on the solids click it escape I want to change my doors here I want to change I'm to change my doors of blue colors click on solids like this we should add here is how this my door to view elevation of the this plan so thank you